The autonomous revolution is all about safety. It's engineering vehicles that can flawlessly adapt to arbitrary and changing road conditions. It's about teaching cars to expect the unexpected. And there's only one way to do this. Simulation. Only one company is building the industry's first integrated platform for simulating autonomous vehicles. ANSYS. In order to accurately simulate, control, and test autonomous driving scenarios, many different components must come together in a cohesive and reliable framework. The following demonstration showcases the ANSYS solution. The system that we consider in this demo should realize autonomous driving in different modes, including a full autonomous driving mode and an adaptive cruise control mode. To realize these different modes, we have two planning components and a selector that selects the appropriate plan, either based on adaptive cruise control or fully autonomously based on perception. With the help of Medini Analyze, we can systematically identify the potential hazards that could be caused by malfunctioning behavior of our system components and evaluate their risks. By applying safety analysis techniques like fault trees in Medini, we can derive functional safety requirements. Obviously, it must be ensured that the car avoids collisions with pedestrians. This is a safety goal of the highest safety integrity level, ASIL-D. These functional safety requirements must be allocated to our system components. Can AI and machine learning do the job in guaranteeing safety? We cannot allocate safety requirements based on this architecture, and we cannot verify these safety requirements or trace the neural network up to high-level system requirements. That means we must change our architecture and introduce additional components to ensure safety. This is where the safety gate concept is important. It's used to check if the outputs from the AI planner violate any of the safety rules developed for this system, and it gets the safety requirements allocated to it. A safing plan is introduced, as we must do something even if we cannot use the primary and secondary plan. In order to develop the embedded software that will implement the safety gates and adaptive cruise control functions of our system according to the allocated safety requirements with ASIL-D, we will build these controls and generate the code with SCAD suite, which is qualified for ISO 26262 code generation up to ASIL-D. The adaptive cruise control mode ensures that the autonomous vehicle follows a safe distance and at a safe speed behind other vehicles on the road. The safety gates and selector determines what happens if an obstacle is encountered in the planned path. At this point, we can now simulate our system in a virtual environment. With ANSYS VR experience, we can create the virtual world scenario with all the necessary traffic elements. Here we have the Ego vehicle, highlighted in green and controlled by the SCADE logic. We start in the adaptive cruise control mode, following the car in front of us at a safe speed and distance. The car in front of us will turn to the right, and we will encounter a pedestrian crossing the road in our path of travel. With ANSYS SPIOS and VRX, we can instantiate and simulate our physics-based sensors interacting with the virtual world, using measured optical properties and operating in different environmental conditions. In this view, we're looking through the Ego Driver's view, and we can visualize the LiDAR field of view update the perspective view and change the time of day, location, and road conditions. Here's the actual dashboard of our autonomous vehicle. We can see what the driver would see while traveling in the vehicle. This visual dashboard is created with ANSYS SCADE display and the logic behind it is the control code that we discussed earlier created with SCADE suite. We can see that the autonomous vehicle starts in cruise control mode and is following the vehicle ahead of it at a set target speed and following distance. On the bottom of the screen, we can see 2D visualizations in terms of a point cloud and a top-down view of the same 3D LiDAR perception and ground truth data used by SCADE Suite. Even though the AI is telling us to drive straight ahead, the safety gate detects that there is an object in the planned path and invalidates the plan. The selector chooses the next valid plan, which is the safing plan, causing the vehicle to brake at 100% to avoid a collision. 
we can see the pedestrian walking in front of the car on the depth and perception displays. The pedestrian clears the path of the vehicle and the ego vehicle returns to the AI planner mode.